Wow, look at all those marshals. I wonder which one is the loudest. This is something I will find out today. So I will play all my marshals here at full throttle and uh, I will record it with this microphone going straight into, well it's going through the tube preamp and the tube compressor is not switched on and then as you see the EQ is completely flat and then into my Zoom R24. The reason I do this instead of using this mic built-in microphone is because I, I want I want the level to be the same all through so I already adjusted it according to this fellow which is the loudest. Uh, just to go through uh, this one is called the JTM 145 and it's an uh, anniversary model uh, loosely based on, on the plexi head from the 60s but it's only one watt it's, it's a great amplifier though to for recording and so forth uh, this one goes into this old is it possible to see this old um, four, 4x12 cabinet it's uh, it's from the 60s so it's got those uh, uh, Celestion Greenbacks they're called the 25 watts only but for this amplifier they're, they're more than enough uh, the next in size is the class 5 which also is supposed to be based on, on the Plex in some way I think but it's it's kind of dark sounding amplifier it's a great tone though but it's, it's kind of dark sounding so this one goes into well it doesn't look like it, but this is actually a original PV5150 4x12 so it's quite loud, the, the speakers are quite loud, but they, they're quite trebly also, which goes perfect with, together with this amplifier. Next one is the um, 50 watt from 72, 73, I think. This is heavily modified by a guy called Thomas Larson. Uh, it's, as you see, he added a, a second channel and he also added some preamp tubes. Uh, so you have a master volume and so forth. He, he actually used this this actual amplifier when he played with Glenn Hughes one, uh, a while back. Um, and then we have uh, the JCM900, which in my opinion is the one of the best Marshalls ever made. It's got a really nice tone. It, it's amazing. It's basically, in my opinion, it's like a JCM800 with a built-in overdrive pedal on the second channel. Um, anyway, moving on, then we have the um, uh, 1959, it's also from 73 actually, it's a completely stock uh, Marshall Super Lead, 100 watts, and this is loud. That one goes into the JCM 900 uh, speaker, which is actually, those are four 25 watt Celestians in there but it's actually almost too little you can you can hear the, <laughs> the cones flapping around when you use this bit so neither of those two actually sound very good at full throttle but I just want to do this anyway just for comparison and uh, this they sound much better if you back up the volume just a tiny bit but not today today everything all the as you see everything is on full even on the JCM 900 where the lead gain goes to 20 and just for comparison also I have this this old called lead 12 which is one of Billy Gibbons favorite amplifiers he, he claims that it sounds exactly like the original Bruce Baker so I don't know why but I will play through that one also so that comes in um, sound level I think just before the the 5 watt there Anyway, as you hear, it's already making a lot of noise. That's actually the this one because it don't don't have the, the stand standby switch. <laughs> That's why it makes this noise. So I will start to play, and you will hear. I also need my ear protection here, not for the first three, but later on they will be needed. Okay, so I will place this one here, and uh, I press record here like so, so. and for um, quick
quest mission thing like this, I need to use my super manly um, Hello Kitty Squire stuff. Dude, this is great. So far, I love it. As you will soon hear. Okay, first one, KTM 50 watt. Now it's time for the gear protection. Thank you. Over and out. <laughs> 